We got this beautiful, and I mean, they are. I, you know, Audi makes, I think they make a beautiful car. This S5, the problem here is, oh, this is so painful. The guy just bought it 20 days ago. It ran fine for him then, but all of a sudden he's got a flash and check engine light, took it to the dealer, and it's not good news. Ugh. Matt, tell me about this S5. Not a cheap car, uh, dead hole. It looks to me like it came from the dealer, is that right? It did. Yeah, they got a history on this thing? Uh, we don't have any history on it. Let me check the invoice here. 75,000 miles on a 2018. Found scoring on the cylinder wall, number four, 25 PSI. Ouch. They're saying that uh, cylinder walls uh, confirm ring land on piston has broken and caused scoring on cylinder wall. So that means the top of the piston, I guess they can see that maybe the, the ring land has come apart on the top of the piston. Million dollar question, here it comes. If that's true, remember condition, cause, correction, confirm. Condition, perhaps, we're, we're gonna bore scope this here in a sec. What would cause a ring land on a $75,000 engine now, besides something getting ingested in it, like a bolt, I mean, that would cause it, you know, right? So we're gonna eliminate that. You can't give me that one, although that could be it. But on this particular engine, now when I say particular, it's a V6 gas engine, but what also does it have? Direct injection. Direct injection, boom, now. Give it to me, bro. On a direct injected engine, how could that possibly cause detonation and ringland issues? Does anybody know? If you don't, just shake your head, no, I'm clueless. I don't know if I'm clueless, but I don't know. You don't know. Alejandro, now Alejandro's a young guy. I love this guy, he's only been here a couple months. So we're gonna ask him, do you know what causes direct injection detonation? Just say no if you don't know. And you know what, Alejandro? That's, that's how you become a great tech. You don't walk around a shop and go, oh, I, 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 I'm, I'm afraid to say I don't know. People always say, I have a dumb question. There are no dumb questions. There are people that don't ask questions that stay dumb. How could direct injection cause detonation? That's the question you want to ask. And my answer to you is, here it comes, doing your lunch hour today, I want you to study that. Now I know why it happened, but if I sat here and yammered to you and told you what it was, that wouldn't be as good if you learn about it and then me and you come back and you discuss with me and then I get involved and maybe refine some of your thinking on that. Does that sound like something we should do? Okay, you ready for lunch? How about, yeah. a, how about if I buy you lunch and then while you're eating lunch, I want you to study direct injection detonation. And that's how it's done, guys. You know, you, you don't know everything. Heck, I don't know everything. I didn't know this until the science. So no speculation. You do the science and the study, and we'll come back. But right now, what I want to do is I want to bore scope this whole verify what the dealer said. Well, how did it get here? The customer just found us or something like that? My understanding is that actually the dealer recommended us. Oh yes, I love that. Probably because the dealer gave him a price and it freaked him right out. I'm sure it did. Yeah. Let's bore scope the whole verify what they found, which is 25 PSI, and then uh, we'll call the customer. On this motor, number four is this uh, driver's side front. Alejandro, this young man, 21 years old, look at the investment he's made in his career right here. Look at this. This guy is Mr. Style. Did you get the handles like this because you wanted them? No, I came like that. Yeah, because the other one's got the black. But I like it, dude. It represents some bling, bro. I like that. <laughs> okay, here we go, down the hole. Okay, there's the top of the piston. And what is that there? That, that right there, Alejandro, what do you, look at that. That look like the ring land? It looks like the top of the piston is kind of burned away. That definitely looks like part of the piston is just gone. See this? This is, looks like oil. And that's because it's just allowing oil to get burned up on it because the ring is just shot. I mean, you can see that. Obviously, we're gonna have to pull the engine out and get that piston out of there. So uh, let's do it. Let's get the customer on the phone because uh, this is surgery, man. Let's get this guy prepped for surgery and get, get the heart out of it. This customer was so kind. They sent me some olive oil. Little did they know that I love good olive oil. So Rose Brothers Olives, thank you for the olive oil. It was very nice of you.
Hello. This is David, Dave's Auto. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm glad to hear you're doing good because you got a car here that's not doing well and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about it. Is this a good time for you? Yes, sir. I've never spoken to you. I really don't have much information except I saw the, uh, the dealership that had the report on it about cylinder number four. I've taken the time with the technician to, uh, to actually bore scope that hole and verify what they're telling you and it is all correct. That that cylinder has, has got a, a ring land that's burned up and the compression is only 25 PSI. Can you give me a little history? How long have you had the car? Just barely 40 days. Ochi mochi. Yeah, it's a, it's a killer. Oh, yeah. So tell me, when you bought it, did it have this problem or was it running good? It was running good. Did all of a sudden this just happen, bam, or did, you know, was it... Was the car running hot? Or? Well, I went out to uh, Lake Havasu. When I got to Lake Havasu, it was, it was just missing just barely. Uh, no, no light, no nothing. And then when I came back is when it got bad. So you started to feel this miss and then the check engine light came on? St. George area, the check engine light came on. Okay, and did, when it came on, did it start to flash on you or is it just on steady? It was on steady, but the, there was a little triangle that flashed. Okay, that's... That means your cat's melting down. So how long did that happen with the flashing light while you were running it? Uh, the flashing shut off and then it just stood on. From when the misfire happened to when you finally got it into the uh, dealership to have them look at it, uh, we talking a couple hundred miles on the motor? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, just to give you a heads up, I, and I don't know that there's a problem with it, but that's the hardest thing you can do to your catalytic converters is dump raw gas into them and that's what's going on when you have a misfire. The gasoline going into that cylinder isn't being uh, burned up, you know, combustion isn't happening and so you're dumping that raw fuel into the exhaust stream and that's, that plays havoc on your catalytic converters and your O2 sensors. So you want as, that's why you get flashing lights. You want as much as you can to avoid that just, just for your future understanding. Let's just kind of proceed with what we're going to have to do. This isn't going to be, you know, take two aspirin and, and uh, I send you home. The motor's going to have to come out. It's going to have to be opened up. The cylinder head will have to be opened up and I'll have to do an assessment of whether I can fix what you've got. Now the dealer, you know, this is what all dealers do. Don't, don't think it's just indicative of Audi, but most dealers don't go inside a motor at all or a transmission. They just going to put a new motor in there. Correct. And that's probably what you they quoted you? Yeah. How much was that quote? Could be up to 30 grand. Whoa. That's a yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, under, I said. Is that all you said just whoa or did you, did you throw a cuss word in there too? <laughs> just No, I've well, I've learned to deal with the punches. I mean, good for you. I've taken on this one. I just don't know. I need a way out. And yeah. I, you know, this is just timing and everything else is just killing me. I like to explain how we're going to work for you. First off, we can fix motors. That's what we are. And did the dealer recommend me then, or? Yes, uh, the the service writer there said he's taken a couple of his things to you and said you were the best. You had a on-site machine shop. That was very nice of him, and it's true. We've been around, we're a family-run business, 34 years. We're one of the largest private in engine builders in the United States, so y you got lucky that we're so close for you. So here's what we got to do. We've got to remove the engine, pull the driver's side uh, cylinder head off of it, and inspect the cylinder wall and determine is the wall damaged to a point uh, that I'm going to have to bore and hone the motor to fix it. I won't know that until I get the motor part. So I really can't quote you any you know, par to repair until I get that far. Think of it like exploratory surgery. I got to put eyes on that cylinder wall to say, is the cylinder wall damaged to a point? You know, I've got to completely disassemble the motor, you know, bore and hone the motor and put new pistons in it and rings and that kind of stuff. Or can I get away? Because it's only got 75,000 miles on it. The rest of the motor sounds pretty good. If I don't have any other damage anywhere, what I'm not going to do is do like one cylinder and take your money and not give you some assurances that you're good to go and you know, you're know you not gonna have any other problems, you want that. But in order to do that, that's what we gotta do is we gotta get the engine out, open it up, and then determine where we go from there. Even if we had to do the whole thing, it's gonna be a whole lot less than 30,000 bucks. That's the good news. Yeah, I'm hoping. Yeah. Man, all I can do is hope that you can help me out, man. I'm, yeah. Like I said, I'm in a tough, tough spot. Okay, well what we're gonna do, Matthew is your service rider. 
I'll have him send you a uh, the quote for that. We'll require a 50% deposit to get going on it. We'll get this thing out and uh, keep your fingers crossed, and hopefully we can give you some options. And you know that's what a good machine shop can do. We give you options. That's awesome. I really do appreciate your honesty and everything else. So. Okay, man. Thank you. Good talking to you. Good talking to you. Thank uh, you. Yes, sir. Bye, bye. You know that's that's what we do here. I mean, we do it a lot. At, you'll hear me say it. I call it uh, the four O's. Opposition, obviously he's got opposition here. He just bought the car and it's blowed up on him. Is an opportunity with options to overcome this opposition. It's a circle. The next step is let's get the motor out and hopefully we can uh, give him some good, good options.